who's up for playing more Spirit Walkers, Curse of the Cypress Witch. Everyone, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you want to play this game. Or you know you want to play with me, basically. We have traveled through time. We are in the past, and we are going to get into the hotel with a pole. And a wick. And a holder. I don't know. Old fashioned roses like these have such a lovely scent. Maybe I should light this lamp. I can't reach that high. But you can now. Oh, I love inventories. Where they combine stuff. Yeah? Do you? Oh. I wasn't thinking, and I scared the bird. Hammer. Swing looks comfortable. I didn't want to scare this bird. Fall tight from the inside. Oh wait, here. Look there, I think it might be possible to get in. With a feather? Oh, best shutters ever. I can see a thing. There are probably curtains over the window. Would you smash it? Oh my god. Really? I feel like a burglar. Yeah! I need to hide the evidence that I broke in. I should cover up this window, clean up the glass, unlock the door so I can pretend I just walked right in. Pretend that it wasn't me. <laughs> it's nearly midnight. Oops, what did I do? No! Oops, I kind of paused the game there. I think I should unlock it and pretend I just came in. Just a painting. Ooh, key. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's the way upstairs, but it's closed up. Oops. Good thing I didn't break it. So why did I do that? Oh, there's the brush. Oh. Stop right there, old shoot! I'm here for the wedding. I'm one of the bride's friends. Come to help with the wedding. Here for the wedding? What kind of wedding guests break into a hotel after midnight? Uh, the door was unlocked. Show me. Open it and close the door. Slowly, I got you in my sights. Well, I'll be. Go on and fetch your room, key from the cabin, and get some sleep. We can talk more tomorrow. Uh, which room is mine? You can have number five. The keys are all out of order, so you have to find the key yourself. It's the only room key without a mate. Remove keys by pairs to find the key to room number five. Cool. Those two, I think. And those two. It's a bit difficult when they're like turned around, some of them, too. If you think, think like. I don't know how I have to think. Um, and there we have the one for room number five. We can get out of here. That's room number six. I was supposed to go to room number five. Here's room number five. It's unlocked! Table would be worth a fortune in my time. Yeah. Okay, we're here again. Uh, let's go into room number five. Rowan! I'm so glad to see you! I was wondering where you and Moonflower were. I haven't seen Moonflower either, but I'm thrilled to see you. I thought something went wrong and I lost everyone, but then the Cypress Witch appeared to me. Yeah, I saw her too. Did she tell you about the wedding? Yes, but I don't understand how she can say the bride will see us as her friends. We've traveled back in time. None of this is logical. You think what I do? That we are participating in the legend? The bride and the Cypress Witch. Are they the same person? Yes, I think the same. Oh, by the way, the bride, her name is Vanessa, left us a note. You should read it. Then let's go to sleep. Put out the candle and let's get some sleep. 
Where's this note you are uh, talking about? He looks formidable. And they went to sleep. Cool. Oh, what were we supposed to do this morning? I think you'd forget your name without me to remind you. We're supposed to meet with the hotel owner and the bride. Oh. But seriously, where's this note you talked about? But I sure wish we had a modern bathroom to go with it. Where's this note you're talking about? There's some note here. Alright, alright. Ooh, hair. Put that there. And it's sunshine! Nice view of the backyard! I need to go downstairs to the lobby. Would you like to go with me or do you want to check the rice room first? Oh, it's open. Good morning. We've just. We. You've. Bleh. Good morning. You come just in time. I broke the lovely bracelets my fiance gave me. Beach spilled on the floor and rolled under the bed. I don't have time for these disasters. Uh, don't worry about this. I'll find the beads and fix the bracelets. Is this the bride? Yes, it is. Please find the sp all spilled beads and fix the bracelets. I will when I have your tweezers. Wow, your reflection is just boobs, basically. Sorry. What a lovely gown. Ah, uh, let's go get some beads. Find all the beads from broken bracelets. God, there's like three th things left. Uh, here we go. Here we go, and now it's one th bead left. Oh, there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nice. Place the missing beads in the bracelets. Every bracelet has its own pattern of beads. Oh my god. I think you are right though. <sighs> Basically just take some time. It's not that difficult. What is this? Uh, hmm. This one I do not understand. Oh my god. Wait, what? <sighs> oh, wait, 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 I think I see. Okay, good. That one is correct. This one is not correct. No, it is correct. Good. This one. Uh. I have no idea.
Okay, those two are incorrect. Okay, that is very helpful that it tells me that. Those two are still incorrect. Okay, good. I don't know why, but sure. Okay. Uh, good. Last one. Uh. There we go. Here are the bracelets. Good as new. Oh, they're perfect. Thank you. Now we just need to get those objects Marqua was supposed to bring, and all will be in place. What objects? Marqua's mother wove something special for me to wear at the ceremony. I'll take care of that. Uh, don't you worry about anything. So, how's the bride holding up this morning? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to get down to the lobby. Good morning, ladies. I trust you slept well. Everything to your liking? Yeah, I slept like a log. I was too excited to sleep much. I just kept thinking about all the things we have to do to get ready for the wedding. Plans and preparations. My yes, we have plans. Plenty to talk about. Planning is Rowan's domain. I leave the list making and organizing to her. I like to keep busy doing things. I hear ya. I am the same way myself. Don't... Why don't you see if you can wind and set the clock so we can keep track all the time while we make our battle plan? Help the owner with whatever he needs. I'll see what I can find out about the location for the wedding. Chief Peyton's son to wed Strax shipping heiress. Uni Strack had announced plans for the marriage of Chief Peyton's son Makwa to her niece, Miss Vanessa Strack, this Saturday. Miss Vanessa Strack is the daughter of prominent local merchants Eli and Judith Strack. Chief Patton will preside over the ceremony in the Moon Garden, a remote but beautiful region accessible only by boat. The Grand Steamship Penelope will carry guests and family members to the wedding site. The couple invites the residents of Lakeshore City and Patton Village to join them for the reception celebrating their marriage at the Old Drummond Hotel at 6pm following the ceremony. Is the wedding announcement? Sure is. I had a helper, but I fired him this morning for breaking the window. Thinking, <laughs> I'm feeling really guilty about costing the man his job. That sounds harsh. Don't you believe in giving second chances? No, I hired you to the weasel to fix the balustrade, not to break my window. Oops. Ah. <laughs> I don't need to open the clock yet. It may just be need to be wound and the pendulum restarted. How do I wind it? What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh. We jammed or broke it. It's locked and screwed down tight. I tried winding the clock, but I can't get the blasted thing to work. It must be broken. Dog, dog, blame it. I need that clock to keep everyone on schedule with the wedding. I've always been pretty good at fixing mechanical things. I will fix it if it is something simple. I hope you really can fix this clock. Yeah, but I need a screwdriver. Oh, hello, Makwa. Good morning, sir. I am Melin, a friend of the bride's here to help with the wedding. Hello, Sasha. Good morning to you, sweet lady. I know my Vanessa is grateful to all of those who came to help her prepare for our joining. I'm waiting for a chance to steal a moment with her before the wedding. Ah, so you are Makwa. 
I hope you and Vanessa will be happy together. And no, you can't steal a moment with her. It's bad luck to see her before the ceremony, and she's terribly busy getting ready. As you wish, sweet one. I will be here if you were my lovely bride, need me. Vanessa said there's a special hand-woven ceremonial object for the wedding. Um, do you know where it is? Ah, I was so anxious to see her this morning, I forgot that. I will go after it now. Wait, I just have a couple of things to wrap up here, and I can go with you. It's locked up tight. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, oh, hammer again. I think I'll hang on to this, as I may need it again. Sasha is here to help us play, aren't you? Yes, you are, sweetheart. Yes, you are. Yes. Ah, me. I am supposed to carry the guests to the wedding on my boat, the Penelope, but I can't get it going. Oh no, the ship has to be okay. Guests are arriving and there's no other way to transport them. Uh, I'm Maylin and I'm here to help the bride prepare for the wedding. What do you need? Well, the engine seems to be okay, but there are some problems with the steam supply. I have some spare parts, but they are locked in the chest and I can't find the blasted key. No worries, I'll look for the key. Is it okay if I go on the ship? Sure, sure. Glad to have the help. Give me... Oh, cracked plank. Hello. Aha! Oops, I didn't want to break it. Actually, I did. Oh, Tweezers. No! Bucket of tar. It needs to be removed before the wedding, but I don't want to handle it with bare hands. Can I move it? That should keep anyone from getting caught in the pedal wheel. Nothing useful here. No, I did not want to go back to porch. No oh, door. It looks like a cabin. Probably the captain's. Alright. Nothing interesting here. Can I... Oh, maybe it's open. Oh. Haha. Now we can get in. She. This is one attention wanting cat here. Captain's log. Looks like an instruction. Carpet. Ooh. It's, it, it has hexagonal shape. Looks like part of, of a mechanism. The English is not perfect, but you know. I haven't got time to sit down. As I thought, it's blank. Ding! Oh, tinderbox. A key for something. Maybe for the, um... Have you seen the steamboat, Captain? He'll be back soon. He went to find maps and refreshment. What? There's no time. We have to get the boat ready to get take the west to get blah, 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 guests to the wedding. Is there some way I could help you, sweet one? No, no. I'll try to fix the boat myself. If you see the captain, send him to me. Flyers! Do I want more spare parts or not? I don't know. I'm trying to see if my cursor changes. Uh, but I don't know what I need yet. Oh. Okay. Where's the captain? He doesn't want anybody pestering him. He's refreshing himself in preparation for the wedding. Refreshing himself? How can he think that there will be a wedding if he doesn't get the boat fixed? Fine, I'll have a look and see if I can fix it. Uh, is that what we are already doing? Oh wait, we want players for here, maybe. Aha! Someone must have lost this. This hole is dangerous, someone could break an ankle. Bent hair clip. What do we do with that? Wait, hexagonal nut? There we go. I think I need a handle. Darn it. Oh, I got nails for it. Um, is there a candle anywhere I can light? No. No. I don't know 
what to do. Okay, something on the steamboat. Somewhere. No. Um. Oh, here's a candle. Oh, I see. Ca cool. I I made a message up here. Now, if I could only understand what it says, it looks like it's some some kind of code. It's backwards. A mirror for it. I wonder what's encrypted on this piece of paper. Now I can get to that closet behind the door. Decipher the code. Set proper numbers in the combination lock and pull the handle to open the locker. Squared two. Three squared two. That is nine. Or maybe it's the other way around. I don't know. One, three plus. No, oh wait, no, I see. Here, nine. No, squared two. I think it's four. One, three plus four, seven. Two and four, noon. Two and four, noon. Noon is... What? Noon is 12. What do you mean? Crazy puzzle. What? This is one crazy puzzle. What do they mean with noon? I thought noon was like 12. <laughs> what do you mean noon? Yeah, I thought noon was 12. Sasha, help me. What does noon mean? Nah, she doesn't know either. She doesn't care. But number three is squared two. Squared two has to be four. Three plus four, seven. That's the first one. And two and four, noon. Noon. No! Isn't noon 12? Oh no, should I skip it? No. <sighs> skip it. Sorry, I don't know what the code is. Good idea, but the cane is too narrow. Ooh. There we go. I love this inventory stuff. Hello, darkness. How did I reach that light to light it? It's so high. We'll do it another day, because right now I want that screwdriver. Here we go. Let's take a look at the inside of this mechanism. Oh, it's a bug. There we go. Look at this. Look, this cockroach broke the gear. That was a complicated, but I fixed it. Tick tock, tick tock. Yes, the clock works again. Clock is fixed. Now I just need the time so I can set it. How can I know what time it is when we ain't got no clock? It's been a long time since the groom arrived. Most likely it's 11 or 12. Ask around to see if someone has time. I don't know if you should go messing with the steamship. It could be dangerous. Clock what? Do you happen to know what time it is? As long as there's a sun, the time is clear, sweet one. It is 11.30. Oh. Okay, the clock is set. At last, the clock is ticking and keeping time. Fixed it, did ya? Well, I just found a square file. I think a watchmaker that stayed here some time back must have left it. Looks like you won't be needing it now. The watchmaker left this? Strange. It looks too big to be any use in clock repair. Yeah, it kinda does. Uh, anyhow, have we are doing these long episodes now because we're having so much fun now. Could, oh my god, I got like cat hair all over here. I'm gonna basically have my own set of fur here. 
Why are you dropping all your fur here on me? Oh my god. Oh, there's flying. Oh my god. Being attacked. My foot. Okay. Why am I even trying to do anything about this? <sighs> Thank you for giving me your fur. That's a good thing. You're not allergic to cat. Just saying. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying yourselves because I know I am. And I hope I'll see you for the rest of Spirit Walker's Curse of the Cypress Witch. <laughs>